You're welcome. You're welcome. Just hold me. Just hold me. <laughs> so good. Are you serious? Welcome into another episode of America's Best Restaurants. I'm your host, Jay Russell. I'm here in Trenton, Illinois. Now, you may be wondering where this is. This is about 45 minutes outside of St. Louis. Now, this is known as the Bricktown capital of America. They build a lot here. I'm looking for them to build me one of the perfect cheeseburgers I've ever had here at Dairy King. I'm going to see if I'm going to be the hamburger king after eating some food out here. How about you guys come with me in the kitchen, try out some good food. Let's go! Now I got exclusive access to be back in the kitchen here at the Dairy King and I'm right beside the Director of Operations, Ellie, with me right now. Ellie, tell me what's something unique about the Dairy King? Um, something that's unique that we really pride ourselves on is every single order is made to order. So nothing sits in a warmer, um, nothing sits out all day. It is not made until you order it at the, at the speaker and then it pops up on our screen. So we can guarantee that freshness for you every time. Well, I hear people talking on that speaker right now yeah. and I hear the kitchen back there and just cooking up some yeah. really good stuff. So I know you guys are making one of my favorite dishes. Mm -hmm. This is what I love to eat so much. Kim is going to make it back there. Yeah. Tell me what do we have? Okay, so Cam is whipping up for us uh, one of our most famous wraps, which is our bacon, chicken bacon Caesar wrap. Um, so what we do is we grill our chicken on our grill. Um, we chop up our bacon and we cook our bacon every day. So the bacon is also served fresh daily too. So which is another bonus. And you can't go wrong with bacon on anything. No, throw so as yeah. much bacon as you can on Exactly. <laughs> so we mix our bacon and our chicken together. Okay. Uh, we chop it up so the flavors kind of mix, which I think makes it really, really good. Uh, um, and then we put it on top of our tomato basil wrap. We okay. add some romaine chopped lettuce, um, some grated Parmesan cheese on top, and then some Caesar dressing. Oh my God, you said yeah. Caesar dressing? Caesar there? dressing, yes. Oh my gosh. So yeah. when you combine all of that, what flavors are you getting out of that? Um, you get like a very savory flavor. You get, which is kind of nice. I mean, everyone loves a Caesar salad. Yeah. So you get the good taste of the Caesar dressing. Okay. And then something happens when the bacon and the chicken meet. And I'm telling you. It is. It's almost, are they like this? They're like, yes, hey, let's, yes. let's have a good time together. <laughs> it's a fan favorite here for sure. You know what? And that's me too. If I go somewhere and I'm kind of unsure about what to order. Yeah. First off, I'm trying to like, you know, yeah, well, you know, I'm trying to it bigger a little bit. <laughs> the grilled chicken is always good, but that's the thing though. Bacon, I mean, it's like you can't say no. You yeah. always got to go with the bacon. It sounds good, doesn't it? Okay, yeah. All right, so that sounds good. All right, so right now it looks like we have the, looks like we have the lettuce, we got some of the yep. Caesar salad. And what type of flour did you say that that was on? Or the, That's a tomato basil wrap. Tomato basil yeah. wrap, okay. Yeah, oh, and oh. it's really good. It itself is very flavorful. Oh, um, and gosh. honestly, I think it pairs really nice with every single wrap we make in here. Oh, I mean, but. Kim is just back there. She's just, she's just making it look lovely. She does. Oh she my did. goodness. <laughs> She's wrapping it up all nicely for me. Yep. Oh, she's getting the bag ready. America, it's almost time. Oh, so Kim, is that me? That's me? Okay. She gave me the heads up. All right. So, ooh, it's still so nice. Yeah. Right? Oh, it's <laughs> oh, see, I already know what I would do with this. I'm going to cut this puppy in half. This is going to fill me up for now. And then for dinner, I'm going to have this. I might wake up at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning and eat the other half. I have a little baby stomach. All right, let's open this bad boy up. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. Here we go. And you know what? I don't think I've ever had one. I know you said it's a tomato base. Yeah, like tomato wrapper. basil. Tomato basil. OK. Yeah. So it's so new for me. Oh, my god. Get a load of this puppy right here. <laughs> Hold on, I just want you guys to see some. <laughs> Is it gonna fit? Well, we about to find out. All right, here we go. All right. It kind of looks like it has a smile too. Like, you know what? Welcome to Trenton. <laughs> here we go, all right. Oh my God. What you think? <laughs> Good? You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> hold me. <laughs> hold me. <laughs> so good. Are you serious? Oh my gosh. All right. Let me break this down for you. We got the seeds. That's the first thing that I tasted. 
Yeah. The Caesar in there, it just hit right off the bat. The bacon said, let me join the party. The chicken said, you not leave me yeah. behind. And then I had to get healthy and get the lettuce in there too. <laughs> It is all phenomenal. This is something that I would probably get every day and feel good about. Mm -hmm. In fact, I'm a little full right now. I might need to go by just to get this. I think we can hook you up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm not done yet. I heard I'm trying some more food out and I'm gonna need the owner finally, Michelle as yes. well. Yep. Let's go out there and see what it's all about because I'm ready to try some more food. All right, now we're in the main area now. I brought Ellie out here with me to join me along with the owner right now. I'm so excited to be out here, Michelle. The food smelled so good and I just had that grilled chicken Caesar. <laughs> Delicious, okay. But before we get to the food, I gotta ask about your background a little bit. Before you became to own this along with Brad, what was your background? Well, I worked in St. Louis and I, I traveled back and forth and I felt that I needed, I worked hard for somebody else and I felt like I needed to work for myself. So uh, 29 years ago, we, we bought a restaurant, a little two walk up window restaurant and made it grow from there. You know what, and what I love about it too is if you go all the way to the back of the story, you can see the full outline and the story of how Barry Heen came to be the place. And Ellie, just speaking with you, also in the back as well, we see the mm -hmm. sign that says, where friends meet friends. Mm -hmm. Tell me how special is this place here, right here in the community of Trent? Um, I think it's obviously where friends meet friends really speaks for itself, um, whether it be the the employees becoming friends almost like family like to the you know to the customers that come up here and they make friends with each other just by you know sharing a, a conjoining booth um you know it just kind of speaks volume on our community watching them come together and it makes it a really special place and you see a lot of people coming in here and it is a special place mm -hmm. between the kids coming in here and trying out the milkshakes and the frozen treats i know this is the thing that people come here for the facebook live they're like you got to try this out so we all have one in front of us mm -hmm. come explain what this is to America's Best Restaurant viewers and why this is so delicious. Mm -hmm. Well, it is our local soda. It is bottled in a town in Breeze, our, our original location. And it is made from oranges and lemons and limes. Got you. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Do you guys mind trying this with me right Most now? Yes, yes. I made all this talking. Like, yes. we need to go ahead yes. and go <laughs> There we go. Cheers. <laughs> Uh, so I have the rainbow. The rainbow. Uh. And that's something that you that, that we actually started um, about 20 years ago. And it's it's from our employees again. They they start concocting their 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 flavors and, and a rainbow ski is one of our, our very popular drinks. Well let me just tell everybody at home, this is definitely Instagram worthy. I could just see you on top uh, one of our photographers is taking a picture on top. It's the colors of the rainbow. Uh -huh. You know it's gonna taste right, in there. Right, right. So this is the delicious drink that we have. But I gotta get to the food though. So we're gonna push these to the side okay. here. Oh my goodness. Now, when I came in here, I asked you, what am I gonna be trying? And the dish that's right in front of you right now, I've been looking forward to this the most. So tell me what am I looking at right here? Well, that is our double bacon cheeseburger. And our burgers are made from fresh ground beef. So we actually grind them uh, in house. And then we have the bacon which is another local favorite. And you have a double bacon cheeseburger with the works. So everything's on there. This is about to work me. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> Here we go, let me try this puppy out. That was delicious. I love the double meat in here, the bacon, the tomatoes and the onions. Is that must? Mustard, mustard. Taste yep. Okay. Mustard, this ketchup, is... pickle, onion, lettuce, and tomato. Oh my gosh, this is it right here too. And then these fries, these are the kind of fries, like I don't like those little small fries. I need, I need my fries to have a little, a little, and then these fries have no more. Oh my gosh, the crunch. It just slips away to my mouth, I heard yum, 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 yum. Okay. This is delicious. I didn't even dip it in the cheese, but I love some cheese as well. So there's a lot of different options you can have with this. Meal. Next, I'm gonna be trying some, oh my gosh, this looks like Philly cheese, not 
shows? Yes. Yep. Oh my gosh. All right, Ellie, go ahead and explain this to me. What is this right here? Okay, so we basically deconstructed a Philly cheesesteak sandwich and we threw it on top of some chips with some delicious nacho cheese. Um, so what we do is we grill up our Philly meat and we kind of incorporate some grilled onion and grilled jalapeno with it. And then we put it on top of some Swiss cheese and some nacho cheese. All right, let's try this one, y'all. I should have dipped <laughs> my fries in that cheese. That mm -hmm. cheese is delicious. Oh my gosh. There's a nice crunch on here too. This was delicious. I might have to get, I don't know, both of these hits so far, I might have to get this to go. Now, like I said, I love that grilled chicken Caesar wrap. That's my favorite. Like anytime I go anywhere, they got grilled chicken, I'm gonna order. But these are right behind and I just love the concept you guys came up with this too. Well, this has been a phenomenal spread. The people of Trent have just been amazing. Everything has just been phenomenal and that's why you guys deserve to be on the show. Well, we appreciate you coming. Yes, um, thank you. We were we were happy to be nominated yes. and, and uh, thrilled to death that, that, yes. that you guys are here today. You worked have, out well. I have a feeling I'm gonna be making a personal trip back <laughs> to try some more of this food. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, it was awesome meeting the Dairy King family and having some of the most delicious food I've ever had. But what's a meal without a good dessert? I couldn't pick on just one option, so I got two. I got a strawberry shake and a cake batter concrete. I'm ready to go in. I'm Jay Russell for America's Best Restaurants. Stay frosty, my friends.